Let's have a look at this small portable oxygen concentrator. It's a quite a small unit. It's a Respironics Evergo. The special thing about this unit is that it's approved to be on uh, aircrafts and uh, helicopters. This unit was actually used in the helicopter here, but now it's strapped. Then it reaches a certain amount of uh, time that this unit has been turned on. So for this one, I think it's around 1000 hours and you should connect the oxygen mask here. And in here we got the display. And we've got a charging port over here. Here's the charging port. We will plug that in and uh, turn this unit on. Here we've got some information. Here you can see some uh, voltages, 13 to 19 volts. Do not smoke, no fire, do not lubricate. And don't open it up. This is exactly what we are doing. Oxygen output 90%, that's quite a lot. Let's see if we can do a flame test. Let's approve the medical uh, equipment. Made in uh, Germany maybe. Some designed in uh, Merseville, USA. CE marking and uh, don't throw it in the garbage. It's a zip lock. Let's open it up. And here we got it. Quite a nice unit. Here we got the FAA approval. Here we can see it authorized by FAA, which is the Federal Aviation Agency for use on board aircraft. So this was actually used in the helicopter, I think, because the hospital doesn't got any other aircraft than the helicopters. Here we got some serial number and we got two batteries. So let's plug it in and see if it does anything. Just a normal uh, connector on the back. To connect 24 volts to it. It doesn't like 24 volts, but it works. Here you can see it's run hours 1300 and it's shut off. Let's turn it on. And there's a setting. You can see a 4 here. I can actually change that. Four and a half, five, five and a half, and six. Six is the maximum. And it should blow out oxygen from here. It takes a while. Yes, here we go. Here you can see some uh, holes here. It takes the air in and it blows the nitrogen out. And here you can see this is charging the battery on this side. Actually, I think it looks like there's two battery battery packs in each battery pack. So yes, let's do a flame test. I connect this long hose here acting as a oxygen reservoir. And at the end here we've got a little needle from a syringe. Because this is quite intermittent, I need to keep some oxygen here. So yes, let's uh, make a little fire. Let's see what happens. Got a burnt out match here. It looks more like it's blowing the match out. Yes, something is happening. Got some oxygen here. Let's see if the fire is out. It looks more like it's blowing it out. Maybe holding it too close. I think the oxygen concentration here is not that much. Yes, it looks more like it's just blowing it out. 
trying another match here. Now it just blows the flame out. Nope, that's not uh, how it's supposed to be. So yes, there is obviously something wrong with this oxygen concentrator. So let's turn it off. Unplug the hose and the cable. So let's uh, open this up and see how it looks inside. Let's remove the batteries first. There they are, 14.4 volts. We've got some power in there, not that much. The other one. This one is dead. And here you can see some circuit board, some electronics. Can we just lift it up like that? Yes. But it's an empty bag here. And here's the oxygen concentrator. These the plastic side panels. Oh, look at those sieve beds. Look at that, it's dented all over the place. They should really have some protection around that. That's not good. And these are quite hard actually. So I have uh, bumped it uh, real hard somewhere. There's a the power connector. So yes, let's... Uh, Take the sides off. Here you can see some date on this uh, sieve bed. This is just a normal Phillips screw. There's two screws holding this in. Let's remove it. Here you can see the compressor here. It's quite warm. And some uh, circuit board. Some flat flex. And let's remove this other side. This one's a bit stuck. Yes, here you can see a little bit better inside it. But this is a special compressor here. Looks like you got uh, three compressor cylinders here. Got one here, one here, and uh, one on the back side. Got the tubes here. And the bottom side here, you can see these valves. Looks like there are four valves in there, some control circuit, this is the battery connector, and these are the sieve beds, one here and one on the other side. Got something in the middle of them, I wonder if that's a sieve bed too, I wonder if I can remove this top cover, I think so, yes, let's remove the top cover as well. It looks like this screw here has been open and closed several times, so let's open it up. Oh, it's pressurized. I can't remove that. I wonder what gas that were. Is that an oxygen uh, reservoir tank? If that's the case, why did it pulsate so much, so much here? Just uh, blow up so out some oxygen and it stopped. It should give out oxygen uh, continuously, not uh, pulsing it like that. Sadly, I don't think I can open this further than this. This is off, but this top part here is stuck down on these sieve beds. They are glued together. I can't really take them apart without damaging the whole uh, unit. You can see inside it here from the side. You can see the valves on the bottom. On the top here, there is another circuit board. Here we've got just the right angle to see them. Yes, in here we can see two pressure sensors. Got one here and a differential pressure down here with two tubes. This tube here goes to the exhaust where the excess nitrogen is blown out. And in here we've got some oxygen sensor, a valve and uh, a beeper. And here is from the other side. You can see this uh, differential sensor here a bit better. Some voltage regulator here. 
and the bottom board here you should have the compressor driver this cable here three phase goes to this uh, brushless DC motor it's maybe controlled by this uh, chip here I wonder where the MOSFETs are I think they are on the bottom side there are some uh, chips on the bottom side that looks like uh, MOSFETs you can have a look at that it's driven by this chip here it's a microcontroller over there controlling the valves as well this goes to the charger and here's the bottom part with the chips that looks like MOSFETs driving the brushless DC motor and here you can see the compressor the three connector rods going to the pistons and yes, this is some kind of brushless DC motor you can feel it, big magnets in there and yes it's quite uh, dusty in here so it's quite a nice unit it's a bit of a shame that this sieve bed was this damaged but otherwise a quite a nice neat unit which doesn't give out so much oxygen but maybe I did the flame test wrong let's turn it on while it's outside of the case yes the fan turns on You can see the compressor rotating and we got some LEDs on the valves there yes let's have a look at the other side you can see the LEDs on the valve so yes it's a quite interesting unit you can see the compressor there So yes, let's put this back together again. So now it's back together again. And it's charging the batteries. So yes, hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.